In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed your Google Calendar in a web page or in your learning management system, and also how you could just um, share the link to your calendar. So first, let's look at sharing the link. Um, here I have some dates for a class that I'll teach this summer, and I want to put this information where students who are thinking about enrolling in the class can see it. So um, I'm going to select the calendar, the down arrow there, and we're going to go to calendar settings. And the first thing I'm going to do is share the calendar. And if you want to share it, then you're going to need to make the calendar public. This means that uh, others can see it, they can search it in Google. So think about this, but there's nothing really sensitive here. Um, so I've already made my calendar public. I'll save that. And now I'll go back to calendar settings. And I'm on the tab where it says calendar details. OK, so a couple of things I can do here. First of all, like I said, you can just share the address to your calendar. Um, if we click on this HTML option here, notice it says calendar address then it actually shows me the link to my calendar. If I click on this, it takes me to a separate page um, that has my calendar events. If we scroll over to May and June, we'll see those same events. They're in a different color, um, but they're the same events that we had on our calendar. So that's one way. You could just take this link and put it in your learning management system or on your web page and um, share the calendar that way. Okay. However, what I really want to do is embed it in my web page. So we'll look at doing that. Here is what we call the embed code. And it's the HTML code that will pull the information from the calendar to your web page. Once you do this, you don't have to worry about doing it again. As you make updates to your calendar, they're automatically updated on that web page. So, um, for now, this embed code is just for the one calendar that we're looking at. If we wanted to do it for multiple calendars, or if we wanted to change the size of our calendar and some other options, I would click here. And then we just simply select the calendars that we want to display. Um, and as we do that, the embed code here would be updated, um, including all of the different calendars. I'm just going to do it for the one calendar, but I will show you what it looks like for multiple calendars. So make sure you copy all of the code. Okay, and I did control C to copy it. And now I'm going to go to my uh, HTML editor. And this is where I want my calendar to appear. So I'm going to go uh, to the code section. And right here in my code, I'm going to select or paste that information, the embed code. All right, and so now when I go back over to the design side, I can see that there's something that's changed. I don't see the calendar, but this is good for me for now. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now let's see what it looks like. Okay, here is my page. It has the information. Okay, if we go over to May, we see the dates. We see them in the color that was designated. And so now it's in this page. As I make, again, as I make changes to my Google Calendar, they will automatically be posted here on this calendar. I don't have to go back and change this at all. Okay, we did it for just one calendar, but let me show you what it looks like for multiple calendars. Here is uh, my general course page that has access to a lot of different information. Uh, for the different courses that I teach. But you can see that I have a calendar for my office hours. I've got a calendar in green for um, different events regarding my job and various shades of green. But I just did that customized option so that I could get multiple uh, calendars using the embed code. All right, now let's see if we can get this to show up in our learning management system. And so I'm going to try to post this in um, the news area of our learning management system. So I'll just click plus for a new announcement. 
and course calendar. And then I'm going to use this small option um, to put in the HTML source code. And I'm just going to paste Control V that code select update. So we can already see that something is happening here. We'll go ahead and click Save. And let's go back over to the news area. And let's see if we can find some of our information over in May. Okay, so yes, we've got the dates there, so everything we need is shown.